A proposed ban on alcohol nips in Attleboro has upset several retailers who say it's an important part of their business. But Mayor Paul Haru says the ban would make the city cleaner and greener. City councilors heard public testimony during a Zoom meeting tonight. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt joins us now with the details of what was discussed. Attleboro's mayor wants to ban several products in the city, but it's nip bottles that are getting the most negative attention. Tuesday's Attleboro City Council meeting started with Mayor Paul Haro defending the nine ordinances he's put before the council. He believes they will reduce pollution. The proposal that's getting the most pushback is a ban on nip bottles that cost around $1 each. These bottles use petrochemicals to produce. They enable drinking and driving, become litter, and fill landfills. Liquor store owners in Attleboro logged on to the public yeah. meeting to express their frustrations, including Jack Patel, who says that nip bottles are 15 to 20 percent of alcohol sales at his store, Twin Liquors. But banning has never solved anything. I don't know whether it's an ego issue or stuff, but when you tell those adults that you can do this, they all tell us, we're like, okay, I'll go down the street. President and CEO of United Regional Chamber of Commerce, Jack Lank, agreed saying that a ban won't work when surrounding communities are still selling. All the other communities around us, they're going to be selling them too. Most who spoke agreed that it's a good idea to make a cleaner city, but are looking for different solutions to the litter problem than banning 50 milliliter bottles. We should focus our efforts on the root of our cause for concern and reinforce an anti-litter mentality amongst residents of all ages. Mayor Haro is also proposing bans on styrofoam and plastic food containers and cups, plastic water bottles, single-use straws, and balloon releases. Reporting in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.